Hallelujah, your me Olufiade here, and this is your word for the week. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 12. The Bible says that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the the promise second peter chapter 1 and um, verse 5 the bible said and beside this giving all diligence add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and um, in verse 6 he said to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience now the bible is saying here and my admonition to you this week is add patience to your faith add patience to your faith add patience to your faith okay the bible said he said compare the enemy to a roaring lion who walk about looking for whom to devour and one of the things we need to understand is that satan that is compared to a roaring lion Lions cannot run for far too long a distance. And the Bible said, you resist him by standing steadfast in faith. Steadfastness in faith is synonymous with patience. Okay? Now, the Bible said, through faith and patience, you will inherit the promises. Because that is how the fathers of faith did it. I always like to tell people that trying times are not the times to quit trying. Trying times are not the time to quit trying. When the times are difficult, that is the moment when it looks like you can't hold on. That is the time you best need to hold on in faith. That is the time you need to keep speaking the word, the time you need to keep praying the word you need to keep confessing the word you need to stand your faith you need to watch your confessions you need to take in the word of god the more because that is the time when your faith is much more at stake now listen to me the journey of faith is not a sprint most times it is a marathon or a cross country race it takes somebody who wants to play a long game, you know, to win the, the, the race, to win the race, to, to, to come out victorious where it comes to faith. Now, that's why the Bible said that he that endures to the end shall be saved. He that endures to the end shall be saved. This video is coming your way this week to encourage you to stand your ground in faith. What it is, what is it that you are believing God for? You have been praying for long. You have been believing God. But I tell you yet, keep believing the Lord. You see, patience is not passive. Patience is active. If you read the book of Romans chapter 4, the Bible talks about Abraham, the father of faith. He said, he, rather than being weak in faith, he became strong in faith, giving glory to God. Now, when he began to give glory to God, when he began to praise God, he began to give expression to his faith in anticipation of the promise he had from God. Okay. Now, if you read the book of Hebrews chapter 11, the Bible talked of the, of the people in the hall of faith. He said this all having, you know, having obtained the promise, they died in faith, not having obtained the promise, but having seen them afar off. And I always tell people that most of us have a challenge living in faith, whereas these people died in faith. They died believing. They never, most of them never saw the materiality of what they prayed for, yet they kept on believing. Why? Because they are persuaded that what God has promised is faithful 
to deliver. In the same way, I want to encourage you this week. You won't die without seeing the materiality of what you are believing God for, but you need to hold on and weary out the enemy by standing steadfast in your faith. Stand steadfast in your faith. Don't shift your ground for the enemy. God is going to come through and give you the results of your prayers. He will give you the answers to the things you have been asking him for. I am standing with you in faith that this week you will see the manifestation of the promises of God in your life. But I'm encouraging you through faith and patience. The fathers inherited the promises and it's going to be the same way for you. Don't give up just yet. Don't quit yet. The times may be trying. The circumstances may be challenging. But I encourage you this week, hold on in faith and you will soon see the travel of your souls and you will be satisfied. I believe God together with you that this is going to be a glorious week in the name of Jesus. God bless you and bye for now.